What's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 24 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, we're going to be going over the best abilities that you should be using right now on defense in MUT24. Now before we go over those, just a quick disclaimer, I'm pre-recording this a couple days early. By the time you're watching this right now, I'm in Las Vegas, going to be attending the Super Bowl, all the festivities that are going on. So there are some cards that are coming out between weekly wild cards, Black History Month promo, and the Super Bowl present portion of the Super Bowl promo that'll probably give us some new cards that'll probably get some of these discounted abilities and we won't have them in this video but we're really focusing on the abilities and not so much the cards right now so we're going to use mutt.gg to help us out and if you guys missed it we did drop a video doing the same thing for the best offensive abilities we'll link that video down below in the comment section as a pinned comment Go check it out. So we're going to break it down by positional group. I'm going to start up front with the defensive line, specifically defensive tackles or the interior of your defense. It's pretty much going to be one of two things. So double or nothing, which is also going to play a part when we talk about the outside pass rushers. This is better than edge threat. This is really the best pass rushing ability in the game, excluding unstoppable force, which is an X factor that's kind of treated as an ability. We'll talk about that in a moment. But one card that I've had tremendous success with, probably two cards, are going to be Reggie White, the AKA card, with this double or nothing at 1 AP on a discount. And then the other card is Clay Matthews, which is surprisingly has been one of probably the best pass rushers I've used throughout the entire year. And he's only about 300K. So double or nothing, definitely over edge threat. Edge threat just does not work that good this year. Maybe edge threat elite plays a little bit better. There are a few cards that can get it. But right now on the offense, there's no need for edge protector because edge threat and edge threat elite are just not getting it done. Double or nothing. If you can get it at one or maybe even two AP, you're allowed a little bit more on defense with the 11 AP threshold there. But I would spend one AP at the very most on this, on this ability. There's quite a few people that can get it right now and I'm sure as we move forward tons of other players will get it and if we start to see guys get this with zero AP well then you know definitely watch out so that's going to be good for the interior pass rush now for the interior just generally stopping the run it's inside stuff now this can easily be countered by double teaming the player that has inside stuff but there's so many good defensive tackles right now that get it for one AP it's not a bad strategy to have two defensive tackles with inside stuff because you can't double team two different people at the same time. You got a free Chris Jones from the season four field pass. Great option there for the inside stuff. Uh, Vita Vey is really good. Jalen Carter on a budget. Kyle Williams on a budget. Warren Sapp with that plus unstoppable force makes him one of the best defensive cards in the game. And as you can see here, we scroll through. Mata Beast is another really good one. These are the best cards in the game that get that inside stuff for 1A and then we've talked about it with Unstoppable Force, which again is an X Factor, but we're seeing a bunch of cards get this X Factor, which is essentially treated like an ability. So the ones that are out right now, I believe the 92 overall Aaron Donald from the original AKA promo gets it, but I don't know what the cost is on that one. Uh, Mata Beast, Justin Mata Beast that we just talked about, he gets it for zero AP. It doesn't stay activated the whole game, but it's on and then it's off. It's on and off. It goes, for, uh, goes back and forth like that. Same thing with the AKA. A Reggie White card, very expensive card, Mata Beast, much cheaper. You can get them for free with the Season 4 Field Pass tokens if you save all four of them. And also we have Warren Sapp, who if you use that Light It Up token, which is probably, as of right now, before the new cards come out, again, we're pre-recording this one, but as of right now, Warren Sapp with the Light It Up token is the best use for that because he's going to get the Unstoppable Force the entire game. It never shuts off. And then also you throw in that inside stuff that we just talked about for 1 AP. It is a total of 2 AP, but for those those two things for the entire game. Really, really good combination. So that's the interior of your D-line. Interior threat is also an ability. I haven't heard much good about it, so I wouldn't waste any, any AP on it. And when it comes to the outside guys, right? Defensive ends, outside linebackers, the other edge rushers, it's going to go back to double or nothing. That's really it. I mean, like, no outsiders isn't bad, but it's just not worth the AP. If you can get some of these abilities later on for zero AP, it's probably going to be worth equipping. And there are a few cards. We're going to talk about Lurk Artists in a moment here. There are a few cards like that, Clay Matthews, that get Lurk Artists for outside defenders. 
If you can get double or nothing for one and then Lurk Artist for zero in a different bucket, really good setup in case you occasionally want to throw them in a, in a flat zone to cover a table route against a running back. It will surprise your opponents and help you get a couple interceptions. But one more time, just to recap, for the outside guys, I'm not really a fan of Edge Threat or Edge Threat Elite. I'm just going to recommend double or nothing or nothing at all. So for middle linebackers, outside linebackers that are going to be standing up, playing more coverage, being usered, I mean, there's no doubt about it. It's going to be Lurk artists here and also i've seen this make mistake happen way too many times don't use lurker for 2 ap or even 1 ap when you can get lurk artist for 1 ap or of course if you get it for 0 ap because lurk artist is basically a hybrid of lurker plus pick artist it's just a much better ability you know probably the best maybe i would say second second best ability on defense in the game here there's so many players that are starting to get it for zero and of course even 1 ap isn't really bad so this is a great ability um one other one that you can use on linebackers who play coverage, and it would also hold true for sub linebackers, assuming they get it. And I'm kind of waiting to see if we get more of these players to get it uh, on a discount, but it's going to be mid zone KO. So Ray Lewis is a really good example, which is another free card from the season four field pass. He can unlock this pretty early, I think right away actually, but once you max him out to a 96 overall, he's going to have 94 speed, and if you want to go with a combination of Lurk Artist plus that mid-zone KO for one AP total, really good because he's going to force those knockouts in the middle of the field. It's usually between the numbers and between 10 and 20 yards, but I feel like it's happened or activated further down the field. As long as it's inside those hash marks there, it's going to activate, and if you can get a sub-linebacker like a Cam Chancellor, Eric Barely just Eric Barry, just to name a few, uh, and get that mid zone KO for one AP. I probably wouldn't pay the two for it. Uh, plus, the Lurk Artist is a really, really good setup for those players. So, all we have left is secondary players, and whether that's going to be cornerbacks or safeties, it's kind of all the same with the abilities. So, the number one ability is going to be Pick Artist, in my opinion. Deep out zone KO is going to be better, but Pick Artist is really the key here because a lot of players, and no pun intended here, with the little key icon right see how i did that anyways moving on there's a ton of players now that get pick artists for zero ap and that's a w we're now to the point where if you have a decent amount of coins you can get two to three to four cornerbacks all on the field with zero AP pick artists. There's a bunch of them that get it for one AP. I would never at this point in the year spend two AP on a pick artist card. It's sad that we need this ability to catch interceptions that are thrown right at our defender's face, but unfortunately that's what it is and it is what it is. The game's been like that for a very long time. So anytime you can get a corner that gets zero AP pick artists, make sure you equip it and it's not a bad idea to try to get it on all your corners, even if you have to spend one AP on a couple of those players. Now, if you play a lot of zone coverage, you're gonna wanna go with deep in zone KO. I'm sorry, deep out zone KO. Deep in zone KO is cool, but it only works in between the hash marks and also 20 plus yards from the line of scrimmage. I haven't had a ton of success with this one. So if it works for you or if you want to try it out, by all means, go for it. But to me, deep out zone KO is the move here. And you'll notice a big difference, right? There's a ton of players that get it discounted for the deep in, not so many for the deep out. But we're starting to see it be more trendy that it's happening. Darius Slay was one of the first cornerbacks to get it. We got Ty Law from the season four field pass. He gets it for one AP. A Caleb Evans from the competitive pass. And Night Train Lane, who just came out a couple days ago he's going to get it for one ap this is also a really good ability on safety so the two that come to mind and they didn't get it at a discount it is three ap but malik cooker and ryan neal from the playoff promo two really good cards that you could play as high safety and coverage that got it but it's three ap and we do get 11 on defense so you can make it work i did on my main team i had both of those guys with that ability but as we get more players who get that at a discount it's going to be easier to run and it's going to make zone coverage harder to beat too as well now now, there is an ability called deep zone KO and this is going to be the best of both worlds so it's basically deep in and deep out zone KO together and we just saw with the Super Bowl promo a bunch of players get it so Cam Chancellor and Ronnie La are probably the main two Herb Adderley also gets it but if you play Cam as a high safety or Ronnie Lott as a high safety for 2 AP, to me, it's almost a must-have because it's going to give you the best of both worlds with that ability. And with those first three players that I mentioned, it's been highly successful for me as I have all three of those cards on the squad. Now, if you run a lot of man coverage, and this one doesn't work as good, but it's the same concept, you're going to look for either short route KO, 
medium route KO or deep route KO. I'm going to go to deep route KO specifically because we got Mel Blunt and we got Night Train Lane who just recently got it. So basically it's the same concept, but you're going to get knockouts when in man coverage instead of being in zone coverage. The only problem is a lot of times when you're in man coverage, if you get burnt, you're not going to be able to catch up to force that knockout. And if you're not burnt, well, normally you're going to intercept it because you're right on the defender. So this one is good. And for people who run a lot of man coverage like me, you want to invest in this one, but we haven't seen a ton of discounts on it yet. We're starting to see some now as it gets cheaper. You can definitely try it out. It's good in principle, but it's not as good as the zone knockouts that we talked about. And that's really going to wrap it up. I mean, there's some other abilities like crusher, enforcer, deflator that are meant to like fatigue your opponent, force more fumbles, but hit sticks are just so nerfed this year. I don't think it's worth the AP. Again, if any ability is working for you that I didn't mention, continue to use it. This is just my experience and what I've seen a lot of the pros run as well. A uh, film study could end up being good at the end of the year. Right now, it's too expensive. Defensive rally is a way to impact your entire defensive line on third and fourth downs, but you never really see the benefits from that one. It's not really noticeable, so I tend to not want to spend AP on it. If we see any cards that get it for zero AP with any ability, you definitely want to go for it and then there's some other ones like flat zone ko if you have guys who play a lot of hard flats or really low cl cloud flats um those can force knockouts when it's outside of the numbers there and usually under 10 yards so those are you know it's another zone ko that you can investigate in i think eventually tackle supreme and secure tackler are going to end up being good because i talked about it in the offensive abilities video we're probably going to see some wrecking ball and some freight train those aka running backs that can't be tackled that with one guy, um, Secure Tackler and Tackle Supreme are going to be ways to neutralize that. So you're going to need those abilities eventually. Very expensive right now, not worth it, but it is something to keep in mind going forward. And I think that wraps it about that about wraps it up. So if there's any abilities, guys, that I left off this list or that are you you're using and they're working for you, leave it down below in the comment section. Let me know about it. Let everybody else know about it. And thank you guys for watching. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.